Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but a variety of categories including books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free, although I can't promise that you won't be tempted to purchase one or two of these subscriptions for yourself. If you hit the notification bell, then you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have another beauty box from Bombay and Cedar that has been sent to me for review. Now Bombay and Cedar, you see them here on the channel a lot because they have three different subscriptions and I do have the pleasure of opening all of them. They have two lifestyle boxes, one that is monthly and one that is seasonal. This little vegan and cruelty free beauty box is $34.95 per month. I do have an affiliate link and code for you. It's Noelle10 that will save you 10% on any of their subscriptions actually. But let's go ahead and dive into this one. I always think it's really fun. Sometimes we get kind of quirky items, definitely unusual items, but I love knowing that it is all cruelty free. There is some customization with this box as with their other subscriptions where they'll send you an email and you want to jump on that email as soon as possible because sometimes some of the options sell out. There's usually a couple of categories as well where there are variations, but Bombay and Cedar actually chooses for you. So we have our little product card here, very simple, and then on the back it tells us that the theme for February, so they are a little bit behind on their shipping, is Glow. So you can see the five products, but then underneath it shows you where there are variations. So it looks like the total value of this box was anywhere between $140.99 up to $149.98. So I think that's pretty good when there's really only a variation of about $10, so you don't feel like you're getting cheated somehow by not getting the more expensive products. So they do this kind of cool thing where they put everything into a little drawstring bag, which is nice because it protects things from any moisture from the outside of the box, uh, harming any of the contents. It also prevents them from having to use a lot of shred. Things kind of stay bundled all together. Now, one of the items in my box actually didn't come in the box. It was in the outer mailer. So we'll get to that as soon as I come across it on the uh, product card. But let me go ahead and kind of pull everything out of the bag. So. It is a nice reusable bag. You could probably use it for travel or something because again, it does seem like it's pretty waterproof. So let me just move that off to the side, pull that other item uh, that we did get outside of the box over here. So let me see, let's go ahead and start with that. So it's pretty cute actually. So it looks like it's this little lip kit. It's got this uh, gal with her little French poodle and the Eiffel Tower. So this is the Lucy and Pompette lip kit. And this was in a category where there were two other options, the color stick by Evio Beauty, which had a value of $23, or the Lip Whip by True Moringa, which had a value of $16. So there's where your big price discrepancy is. This uh, lip kit had a value of $22, so right in the middle. So I pulled that sleeve off, you can kind of see. So this is a nice little travel pouch because it is clear, and you can see there's actually three items on the inside. So let's take a look. It says features one lip plumper and two liquid lipsticks in an easy, clean, easy to clean makeup pouch, which, yes, I appreciate that. Very nice, and it has a nice zipper closure which is fantastic so let's see what we've got we have ooh la lips liquid lip color it's a lighter than air formula so just came in this little package I think I actually selected this I'm never I never remember because again they are slightly behind but sometimes I forget which categories I actually chose sometimes I don't get my first, cho first choice if I don't get to the email soon enough and then sometimes I just have seen the product before um, or it's been a spoiler so actually this is a gorgeous color. I think that is lovely. Very springy, not too pink. So let's see how that opens up. Probably just a little doe foot applicator. So very little, but oh, that's really cute. So it looks a little more hot pink when I pulled it out, but I like the little packaging. It's really neat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other color that was included. Uh, again, Ula Lips. So let's see, what was the color on that one? So I'm trying to find out what the number was or what the the name was so that was Cherie and this one is Kiki <laughs> let's have a Kiki I don't do people still say that anymore um let's see 
what color is this hopefully ooh now this color is even more me now this color is one I will definitely use so it's a little bit more on the brown mauve side that is really pretty if it's long lasting that's gonna be great so I usually like a cream lipstick I haven't been using a lot of liquid ones but this is really nice I am super into that color and I just think the uh, little containers are really cool so then that was so kiki I'm all into the kiki and then finally we have this lip batter which is a moisture rich lip plumper she looks very cool now I don't use a lot of lip plumpers in all honesty I don't have like big lips but it's, I think it's in oh it's actually has a color so it says it's in can can or berry so that's cool that it actually has a color to it a lip tint to it let me see if I can open this up I thought it was just gonna be like a clear lip plumper that you would use ahead of time before using one of those liquid lipsticks Ooh, this is actually a really pretty color too it's like dark but like almost on the like plummy side like a brick kind of color that's actually really nice so I might have to be adventurous and try that um, I just find that like lip plumpers kind of make your lips sting a little bit right because of whatever they're doing they're just basically irritating your lips which I never think is like the greatest thing but that's actually a really fun um, set so I'm super into that let me just uh, hold them all up for you again so if I did choose the colors yay me I did a good job and then so it came with the two lip colors and then the lip plumper I'm just holding it facing back so you guys can see the color a little bit more and then of course we got that adorable little pouch so that's an awesome item all right let's see what else we've got this is definitely something that was a choice so you could have gotten the pixie glow cake by pixie beauty um, which is a light diffusing palette or the dream glow, glow kit by a and a and H that so that pixie glow cake had a $28 value the dream glow kit by ABH had a $40 value Wow and then the Aurora glow kit by ABH which I think is Anastasia Beverly Hills also had a $40 value so there's a big price discrepancy there too so I'm surprised that they said the total retail value uh, could vary anywhere between just like a $10 difference because that's a really big that's already a $12 difference just in this category so I did get one of the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills very holographic palettes I'm trying not to blind you there um, I don't know which it is so I got the dream one so I think I remember getting this picking this a collection of full spectrum highlighters with iridescent and metallic finishes again um, I don't use a lot of highlighters sorry for that ring light reflection you guys you're gonna get it anyway but you can kind of see we've got all the different pastels it's very like Eastery um, there was also the other Aurora kit was also metallic powder highlighters and then the um, pixie glow cake was light diffusing palette to help achieve natural healthy radiant complexion so they were all kind of in the sparkly shimmer category not necessarily something that I use just because you guys know I don't use a ton of makeup and I don't really know how to use things when it comes to like you know color correcting or highlighters but I know that a lot of people really like this brand Anastasia Beverly Hills so I figured it would be a good thing to re-gift or include in a future giveaway but if you guys have any familiarity with it let me know here is a brand that I'm also familiar with it does appear in a lot of boxes and I love it I haven't ever gotten this product before so it's by Professor Herb or Professor Herb um, it's the natural mint and eucalyptus facial oil so those are always kind of nice I do like a good absorbing facial oil so so this was in all boxes it does say that it is suitable for all skin types they are showing a different one than the eucalyptus and mint but I just think this is gonna be a really nice scent uh, this has a $27 value it says keep your skin looking young and radiant with this natural facial oil this light non greasy formula is enriched with almond and olive oils to help nourish and protect your skin apply a few drops to your face and neck every morning and evening for healthy beautiful skin so all right that's pretty cool let's see what it looks like so let me know in the comments below if you use oils. I have been simplifying my face care routine just because I was doing like all the things, you know, I was doing like the cleanser and the oil and the primer and the moisturizer and the sunscreen and it was just too much. So I try to keep it pretty simple. So for me, sometimes if I use a facial oil, it will work well, just the facial oil as my moisturizer. And I don't do a lot more in terms of serums, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I bet this just smells really good. They do a lot of stuff with uh, essential oils. So I might hold on to this yeah it smells nice it's not like too overpowering because sometimes I think that like you can get things with a eucalyptus where it's like too much you know like too strong 
but that's pretty nice. Then we also got something that was in everyone's box. This is like nice packaging. Mine's not too banged up here. A little bit, a little bit, but it is the cleansing oil balm. So for those of you who do use makeup, let me see if I can carefully open this package. There's always like a little sticker. I'm trying to be better about opening these neatly. Um, so this is by a company called Nikeo. Nikeo. It's a very cool like origami package here, you guys. And then it's got this like spiral hook on the top. It says formulated without sulfates, phthalates, parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, or formaldehyde. Um, and then this is like the coolest packaging, you guys. So it must have almonds in there because I'm seeing almonds. But this is where their story is on the interior. I'll have to hold on to that. So that must be like the uh, founder there. So. This is the jar and it just says sumptuously rich transformative balm to oil cleanser gently melts away makeup dirt and impurities leaving behind radiantly clean skin this has a value of $25 pretty good size too so 3.7 fluid ounces I'll take it and then finally there was another category with variation so the two items that everyone received was that cleansing balm as well as this facial oil and then we also, you could have gotten cooling knee-high socks, which is what I got. So I'm guessing that this is a category that they chose for us. Um, this is by Vosch. It says, these therapy knee-high socks deliver cooling, tingly, invigorating relief to your tired legs and feet while moisturizing. This has a $15 value. Or you could have gotten a charcoal body scrub by Manicadar, which, man, I haven't gotten any Manicadar products for a while. Um, but I have used that charcoal scrub before. It's a little messy in the shower, to be honest, but it is kind of nice. And that one had a 24 dollar value so that was a higher valued item for sure so maybe the like price discrepancy if you wound up with one of the Anastasia palettes they made sure that you got like a lesser valued item so that there wasn't that big of a discrepancy um, throughout the box because just looking at it I'm trying to do the math in my head if you got all of the most expensive items that would be $40 plus another 23 so that's 63 plus 27 is 90 plus 25 which would be 115 this is terrible doing math with you guys you guys and then finally 125 plus 24 so 149 so that is actually true that's the most that you could spend but I guess uh yeah maybe they they worked that out so that there wasn't a huge price price discrepancy but really you guys getting a 150 dollar box or even if you, the lower point 140 dollars and 99 cent value box for just 35 is pretty darn good and they're kind of cool items I'm super into the lip kit um I think these might actually be really nice after like a long hike especially in the summer um just an intensive cooling leg mask and it goes all the way up your legs it's like getting a like nice pedicure where they do that nice massage for you um and then I think for the face care stuff the uh, cleansing oil balm is something that I'll use in sweet almond oh they even tell you how to say it Nikeo. 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 Okay, that's how we, I, I guess we pronounce it. And then the uh, nice eucalyptus facial oil, that's going to be good too. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this February glow box from Bombay and Cedar. I actually thought this was a pretty good one. These are all items that I would personally use. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.